Hello everybody, we are live. This is uh, Ivonik, and uh, I'm really uh, excited to uh, spend uh, a minute uh, with you, practicing together. And today's topic, I'm going to talk about going back to the fundamentals, going back to something that seems really easy, but actually is not and is uh, so important. doesn't matter if you are just um, starting out uh, or you have been playing the harmonica for years, there is still something essential that you need to, to practice and I will say every day, which is uh, intervals. So an interval is the space between one note to the next. You have small intervals. The smallest is the half step from C to C sharp, for example. Mm -mm. One blow to one blow with the slide in. Mm -mm. And you have larger intervals, such as um major uh major seven so we want to to practice these intervals within a key you can also practice them using the chromatic scale but today we are going to uh stay uh, within a major scale. And we will start with the C major scale. So how many intervals can we practice within the C major scale? Well, we have the whole step, whole step from C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G. We have a major third, major and minor third, so from C to E, D to F, E to G, etc., etc. And we are going to focus on this interval today. Because also I want to remind you that it's very important to have uh, a practice that is focused on a few elements. And if you start uh, wanting to, to um, practice everything, uh, uh, in five minutes, it's not going to uh, to work. It's going you, it's going to bring a lot of stress, and that's not good. <laughs> of course, if you have uh, the whole day, yes, you can plan um, multiple exercises and and you can learn songs. You can practice intervals, arpeggios, scales, and um, and read a harmony book, read a theory a manual. A theory book you can uh, even study how to play the piano that will be really helpful uh, you can practice your uh, sight reading ear training etc etc but let's say for the majority of us we don't have that luxury um, to dedicate a whole day just playing the harmonica and I, I used to use used to, to do that I used to, uh, to <laughs> To stay hours and hours in, in practice rooms and even sleep. I will sleep in the practice room. Uh, it was just when I arrived in New York in 2007. And uh, it was a crazy time for me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will spend um, the day um, playing in different combos. At um, like uh, getting lessons from uh, private teachers. Such as um, uh, Lee Konitz, um, Jerome Sabag, Ben Street, Kevin Hayes, Ron Goldberg, and also I will spend the day uh, in school. And um, at night I will uh, either I will go to jam session and then I will go to my practice room and uh, just uh, just trying to um, to yeah to practice things. I don't know at that time I was mostly. Um, Transcribing solos, I remember 
learning a lot of uh, Johnny Parker and Lester Young solos. So I was studying saxophonists, pianists, uh, essentially, and trumpet players as well. Uh, but today, um, and uh, this, this uh, important uh, advice is to uh, uh, focus on even one thing, just one thing to uh, to practice. So uh, yeah, just have one idea. It can be okay. I want to learn this solo. I want to learn a phrase, a one phrase. I want to learn one arpeggio. I want to practice one scale. I want to just being better at breathing on the two jaw. And that's it. And if you uh, can accomplish that, if at the end of your practice session, it can be five minutes, ten minutes, or more, an hour. And but if you get something out of uh, that practice session today, and that's that's that's, that's, that's great. That's um, uh, that's what we want. We want to achieve something. So. Uh, Having smaller goals uh, can really be uh, the uh, the answer for that. So yeah, I, I was talking about intervals. We have uh, half steps, whole steps, thirds, fourth. So if you are going from D to F, uh, C, I mean C to F and D to G, fifth. Sixth, we have major and minor sixth. Uh, we don't have major and minor fifth. Can be only augmented or diminished. So, I think the most important interval to practice is the third major and minor third. So that's what we are going to focus on today. And let's look at this uh, this PDF, so I'm going to make it more readable here. All right. Excellent. Perfect. So, we have the ID to, to practice thirds and from just this simple ID it becomes more complicated all of a sudden because we see that we have four ways to practice thirds within the C major scale. So I'm not talking about changing keys, playing all 12 keys. Uh, no, I'm ju we're just talking about one key and we already have four ways to practice, four exercises that we can draw from that uh, practice session. So first, we can look at on the first bar we have one A, one A. Uh, this is one direction, one way to practice this exercise, ascending. So start with C. So if you can practice every exercise, um, singing and playing the harmonica that would be even better. And we can also add the metronome. So you see that with just one ID, <laughs> we can go so deep. And we can practice everything, air training by singing, or timing or rhythm using the metronome. And of course, the harmonica technique by really practicing slowly and uh, focusing on uh, going from one note to the next. So if you are a beginner, you don't even want to play the whole line at once. No, no. Just focus on the first note to the next note, like from C to E. That's it. <laughs> if you can do that, uh, that's already a big achievement if you are starting out. So just you blow on the C Breathing should come from the diaphragm. You don't, you don't breathe. You're not, you're not breathing out or in from the lips. You're not. No. 
you relax and just you forget that you have a harmonica on your lips. So you keep blowing out, and you move slowly your harmonica across your lips. Try not moving your head. And you open, you're trying to drop your jaw to leave more space. You want the air to circulate freely. That's the tip if you are a beginner. And uh, also I've met a lot of people who have been playing the harmonica for years and they just have a, a bad tone. They are playing out of tune and they can they cannot play higher notes also when they get uh, over the 8, 9, 10. Uh, nothing is coming out of the harmonica, just just hair because yeah because they don't have the proper technique and they 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 are blowing too much. They are not relaxed enough. They don't open enough. They don't draw up enough their jaw. So uh, this uh, advice can be useful for for anyone actually. Uh, but let's continue. Let's continue. So we can play. A1 through one octave or two octaves. Even more. Uh, if you have a expression, how many how many octaves we have? We start on middle C. So here we have one. Three octaves. If you have a twelve hole harmonica chromatic harmonica and four octaves if you play if you are playing 16 hole here i have on my desk the ace honor ace and expression you can see the size uh, two uh, great 12 hole with plastic comb plastic comb is really what you need we can debate whether or not the sound is uh, is better on the wood comb, and uh, I, I would prefer a, a, cube, a comb made in, in wood, um, wooden comb. It's uh, it's a little bit warmer and um, it has like a little bit deeper tone. Uh, one of my favorite harmonica sound is a uh, is. Um, the 270, the one on, on the 270, I love the 270 uh, chromonica from Horner, uh, especially the mellow tone and um, Toots Bebop um, hard bop model. I think they are both uh, discontinued, but they sounded so uh, so good, so magical. But uh, it's a pain in the ass, the, uh, the wood combo. Tell you the truth. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back here. And uh, so as I say, just start slowly and don't think about playing the whole phrase all at once. Just take your time and think about one note after the next. Like Just focus on C after E, then D, then F, and slowly. Because the more important is to control your breathing, your sound, your harmonica technique, you make sure you are uh, playing the right hole and you know where you are. You always want to know on which hole you are breathing in or blowing out. So let's practice this slowly. I'm going to change microphone here because this one sounds better. Okay, so no metronome. <laughs> And I just stop at the end of the second bar uh, because I wanted um, the exercise to fit like this to uh, 
to fit two bars. But of course, we can continue. We can move up. Okay, so let's look at 1B. So 1B, we have the same pattern, but descending. And also I'm starting on C. C to E, and then going to the degree, previous degree from B to D, and then A. So we can see the here the C major scale, C, B, A, G, F, E, G, C. So you really want to also to learn your alphabet, musical alphabet, C, D, F, G, A, B, forward and backward, B, A, G, F, E, G, C. So you really want to know what is the note after F? It's G. What is the note below C? It's B. So that you should learn that. Uh, you should know that by heart. Okay, let me replace. Um, all right. So let's practice one B. C. C to E. Nine blow. First, make sure you are on the right hole. Mm, that's C. Mm. You see, I was playing, I was going up instead of going down. So. So you have to really blow gently. You don't start with a lot of air. You suddenly burst. You go gently, breathe as if you were saying ah. And when you blow, trying to say oh. Breathe, say ah. But don't chew your lips like this. Don't whistle, don't spit into your harmonica. It's not a flute, it's not a clarinet. It's so totally, uh, it's totally different. It's not, uh, I've been talking with saxophonists, flu uh, flute players, flutists, trombone player, trumpet players, and the approach with the instrument is totally uh, opposite from playing the harmonica. The harmonica, on the harmonica, the less you do, uh, the better it will sound. You have to really uh, be really gentle. So practice really slow, one note at a time. Trying to always keep your lips over the harmonica. Don't try to take out your harmonica uh, from your lips and put it back. And you want always to have your lips touching uh, the harmonica. That's why it's important to uh, uh, get a sip of water here and there. So, 1A. Ascending, 1B descending, and we are already starting on C. Uh, then let's look at 2A. So 2A, we are ascending as well, but this time we are starting on the second note. We are starting on E. On the third, on E. Back to C. So... This is uh, the pattern is uh, inverted. Oh, I think I have both mic on. So yeah, the pattern is inverted. So we have E to C, dun, 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 F D G E A F. On 
on 2B, we are starting on E and uh, moving back to C and then we are descending like this. So E to C. And I just noticed that the last note is missing. It should be C, it should be a five, five blue. So here you have your exercise for today. Practicing thirds, ascending, descending, four ways to practice your thirds. <laughs> And of course, when you are playing faster, uh, you need to use both your head and the harmonica. You can. Um, Sorry for the for the sound. So I was just um, I was talking about using the A section of Girl from Ipanema to uh, improvise. So I'm going to I'm going to uh, improvise over the first eight bars using only third. You only I'm going to so I'm going to improvise over the uh, the first eight bars of uh, Ipanema. Uh, in the key of F major, and I'll be using only interval of thirds, so major and minor thirds within the F major scale when we will be uh, playing over the F major 7 chord. Uh, then I will switch to G, the Lydian dominant. Uh, so it's, uh, it's the same uh, scale as the C major scale, but with a sharp 11. And after that, uh, we are going back to F major scale, because we have a 2-5. We have a 2-5-1. Uh, we have a 2-5 in, uh, in the key of, uh, of F major. All right. So, of course, after practicing thirds in C major you want to uh, move to different key and F major is a logic uh, uh, next key to practice because it's the same uh, yeah, we, because F major shares so many common notes with C major the only note that, change, that changes is the B flat so we don't have B flat in C major alright let's start Thank you. 
So this is an example of uh, practicing Im improvising over a girl from Ipanema using only intervals of uh, thirds, so major and minor thirds, uh, within the first uh, eight bars of the song. So that's something also that I like to do when I'm, I'm practicing. Uh, I like to practice something really uh, concrete, like learning uh, a new scale, practicing intervals, arpeggios, and then I like to um, dedicate some time to just uh, improvisation. So it could be totally free improvisation. <laughs> I can combine uh, the C major scale with playing thirds and playing arpeggios. So I, I can combine arpeggios, intervals, and scale. <laughs> Etc. And I can just go on and on um, practicing thirds, uh, arpeggios, improvising using uh, these different uh, elements. So that's it for today. Uh, I will um, put a link where you can uh, get this PDF inside my harmonica studio thank you for watching and um, uh, look back to uh, you can rewatch this uh, uh, live stream and i will add the date for the next live stream coming soon probably next week thank you thank you very much a bientôt see you soon <laughs>